What's up, Comic Frontline? It's Mr. J here, and for the first time on this channel, I am going to be bringing you a Dragon Ball Super episode review, as requested by some of you guys on my uh, top five Dragon Ball Z characters Fanboy Fridays episode. So, since this is episode five, uh, Goku versus the God of Destruction Beerus, I want to just quickly give my thoughts on episodes one through four. Um, this is not really going to be, and I guess the series overall, uh, at least as it stands at the point which we're at at the time of this recording, which is episode 5. And, uh, yeah, so, what did I think of Dragon Ball Super so far? I honestly like it, because I've watched everything Dragon Ball related. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and yes, even though it's not canon, Dragon Ball GT. And, um... I really enjoy Dragon Ball Super for what it is because it reminds me a lot more of Dragon Ball than Dragon Ball Z. Now some of you guys might be turned off by that because you got some of you guys might just really love Dragon Ball Z and maybe you've never seen Dragon Ball or maybe you see you've seen Dragon Ball but you don't like Dragon Ball as much. That's okay cuz it's more comedy and uh family adventures uh oriented and but to me, what I like about Dragon Ball that Super seems to be bringing out is there are, I mean, it's more comedy, yes, but there are also more character moments. You see that in the episode of Vegeta's Vacation. You see how far his character has come, or he's actually a family man and all that stuff. So it's really cool. Um, so now we're actually getting to more of a serious part of the story. We're getting to more of the, uh, the retelling or the alternate retelling of Battle of the Gods. Now, you can tell this is an alternate retelling because... Instead of being on an island, instead of Bulma's party being on an island like it was in the movie, Bulma's party will now be on a boat. And uh, in this episode, episode 5, Goku versus the God of Destruction Beerus, it's pretty much what the episode is, is Goku versus Beerus as it was in Battle of the Gods. And it's pretty much, it plays out exactly the same as uh, that sequence from the movie. Uh, it's, you know, pretty much just a one big smackdown and Goku realizing just how strong this dude Beerus is and, um, you know, King Kai warning Vegeta about Beerus and uh, make sure to not piss him off otherwise he's going to destroy the Earth and it ends with Goku getting ready to come back to Earth to try and help his friends even though he just got his ass kicked by Beerus, even though Beerus didn't really do anything but two hits. That's just showing how powerful he is because he went up against Goku in Super Saiyan 3. So that should give you a gauge on how powerful Beerus is if you haven't seen the Battle of the Gods movie, which I highly recommend because I think it's a good movie. And honestly, even though I uh, really enjoyed Revival of F, which you can see my review here on Comic Frontline, I enjoyed Battle of the Gods slightly better and I'm not gonna give away why, but I feel like the ending was better for Battle of Gods because it was different. Battle of Gods itself had a different kind of tone to it than your normal Dragon Ball Z movie. Whereas Revival of F, as good of a Dragon Ball Z movie it was, it kind of just felt like a really, really good Dragon Ball Z movie. But yeah, this pretty much is just Goku versus Beerus. And then, you know, probably next episode we're going to see them at the party and uh we'll see how that plays out if it's going to be the same thing as in the movie uh that you know sets beerus off you know i'm not going to give it away if you haven't seen battle of god yet but it's pretty funny um you know there was a little bit of comedy here with king kai and gregory and bubbles but you know for the most part this was actually a pretty serious episode um nice to see goku trying to you know do what he does best challenge the strongest opponent he can find and even if he loses he'll learn something and, you know, that's just how it goes, and it was pretty awesome. Uh, but let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below, as always. Uh, don't forget to like this video to let me know you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Comic Frontline if you haven't already. And subscribe to my individual channel, Mr. J's Comic Reviews, and I will leave a link in the description below. And there's also all Comic Frontline's links as well in the description. Twitter, Facebook, and uh, Frontline Live's iTunes link. So if you want to watch our, our weekly podcast, Frontline Live, feel free to check down below and you can watch it on I listen to it on iTunes. And I'll also leave my Facebook and Twitter information in the description as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, this is Mr. J from Mr. J's Comic Reviews for Comic Frontline. And I will be back for more Dragon Ball Z. Or I keep saying Dragon Ball Z. 
more Dragon Ball Super reviews. I'll have to get used to saying that. Um, oh, but let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for the last time, this is Mr. J. Signing off. Like I always say, once a comic book geek, always a comic book geek. And once a saying, always a saying. See you guys later. Peace.